Hello everyone, this is the Retro Gamer 06. How's everyone doing today? Yes, uh, we're playing some more Max Payne. I think we're getting close to the end, I'm not for sure. But we're getting there. Uh, I do apologize for a second there, if you can hear my air conditioner. It is hot outside. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's about 94 degrees. So, yeah. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a like if you are enjoying this uh, series. So, all right, guys, let's get to it. Got some cool music. Got some trip wires there. Um... Acknowledged. Target escaped. Last confirmed location: the inner courtyard. Search and destroy. Uh, okay, let's, uh, throw some grenades. so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Shabby, not too shabby. Didn't take any hits from him there, so that's good. Well, we'll see how long that lasts, right? Uh -oh. uh -oh. Take that. Randy Savage. Nothing against Randy Savage, by the way, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. I can't remember. 
I think someone throws a grenade down here. So that's uh that's kind of new. <laughs> Chapter five, pro providing a service. All right. I believe there are trip wires in this part. So some part of the game I do remember. Okay. We got a radio. Painkiller, yes please. Nice. Uh, we'll see the last one just in case. Uh, let's see. Hang on. He's actually providing a service long overdue to the city. This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Okay. Hey. Wow, I just hit right on impact. <laughs> oh boy, um... Ooh, nice. We got a grenade launcher. Always nice. Okay. I want to make sure I'm... Unlike the that factory level. 
A videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blocked the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Woden had left me a present. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high rise was sealed as tight as a sci fi fortress. Yeah, I think that's the next era. That's the last era that, that we go to. Uh, can I pick this up? No. Okay. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Chapter 5, A Sci-Fi Fortress. Woo. All right. So, yeah, after this, I'm playing off playing, uh, Max Payne 2, the fall of Max Payne. And maybe Max Payne 3, I'm not for sure. Can my PS3 can't be the ah! My uh my PS3 can't read the disc, so I may have to play it on the Xbox 360. But I gotta buy the game first. Which I know is cheap, you know what I mean? It's an old game, so it's not expensive. Too expensive. I bet I can probably buy it less than I made $20. Now moving to the blocking position. Anyone else? I'm gonna save my angle. Yeah, let me save my grenade. I don't know. What the? Was there a tripwire there? I didn't see it. Oh, come on. I was hoping for a no death, but never mind. 
Best movie ending ever? Oh, gotta be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yeah, I see a tripwire now, okay. That's what killed me. Oh look, we got another grenade, but we didn't, we didn't waste any grenades. I'm trying to save my grenade launcher, so... Chapter 6 by Zontheim Power Game. I don't know if I said that right, so if I mispronounce it, please correct me down in the uh, comments below. I had dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. <laughs> Circle had quite a track record. Oh! I feel like death and menace. <laughs> that was not me. What does this paper say? Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the Inner Circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the Circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess too. Thank you. 
killer. Yeah, I forgot that uh, some of the damage is dropped tight. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I see the trip wires. Sex, nothing to lose. I wish I had some more ammo for the jackhammer, but Down there? Wait, I'll get 
there. Alright. Six clean up duty and uh, duty. All right, so this is not a bad section, you know. Like I say, it wasn't as hard as the uh, the factory, you know, that project Valhalla, whatever. CIA, FBI, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice run. too bad. Chapter 7, an eye for an eye. Oh, lordy. Yeah, I think this is the last section now. Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. 
When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. Colder than a walk-in fridge. Cold as a gun. guys here we are this is where it all comes to an end Let's it for a second yeah I think this is a good stopping point uh, the next part might be the final part or I might split into two I don't know uh, probably not it might be the final part so anyway guys uh, if you made it this far uh, thank you I hope you're enjoying this walkthrough uh, this is Max Payne, uh, for those who don't know. It's an awesome game. You got to play it. Again, you can play it on the PS4. Uh, I think the PS4's got faster load time, so... I think even the Xbox has a, a faster load time. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. Uh, thank you for watching once again. Uh, Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a like if you're enjoying this series. And this is the Retro Gamer 06 signing out.